The dollar was used as a weapon, it is true, and we see that. I think it is a great mistake by those who do it. Putin says the West weaponizes the dollar. And he has a point. But what's the solution? Well, he says the BRICs should have their own payment system, an alternative to the Western system, which is called SWIFT. The world watches closely as Russian President Vladimir Putin makes a bold and unprecedented move, calling for a new international payment system. This proposed system aims to challenge the long-standing dominance and influence of the US dollar in global trade and finance. Putin's proposal, announced at the BRICS summit, has sent ripples through the global financial landscape, causing both excitement and concern. It signals a potential shift in the balance of economic power, one that could reshape international relations. This call for change is not made in a vacuum. It is a strategic response to current geopolitical dynamics. It comes amidst escalating tensions between Russia and the West, particularly following Russia's actions in Ukraine and the resulting economic sanctions. These sanctions have significantly curtailed Russia's access to the US dollar and other Western currencies, impacting its economy. This has pushed the Kremlin to explore alternative avenues for international trade and finance, seeking new partnerships and systems. Putin envisions a world less reliant on the US dollar, a vision that could redefine global economic alliances. He imagines a world where financial power is distributed more evenly among nations, reducing the dominance of any single currency. He argues that a new international payment system would be a significant step towards this multipolar world order fostering greater economic stability. Such a system, he believes, would reduce the dependence of other countries on the United States and its allies, promoting a more balanced global economy. Russia's pursuit of an alternative payment system is deeply intertwined with its de-dollarization strategy, a move that has been gaining momentum in recent years. This strategy aims to diminish the country's reliance on the US dollar, which has long been the dominant currency in global trade and finance, and promote the use of other currencies, particularly the ruble and the Chinese yuan, in international transactions. The motives behind this de-dollarization push are multifaceted and complex. Firstly, it serves as a tool to mitigate the impact of Western sanctions, which have targeted Russia's financial system and economy. By reducing its dependence on the dollar, Russia aims to lessen its vulnerability to such sanctions in the future, ensuring more stability. Secondly, de-dollarization aligns with Russia's ambition to enhance its economic sovereignty and independence. A reduced reliance on the dollar gives Russia more autonomy in its financial dealings, allowing for greater control over its economic policies, and reduces its exposure to the policies and decisions of the US Federal Reserve, which can have significant global impacts. The Kremlin has already made notable progress in its de-dollarization efforts, particularly in its trade relationship with China, a key economic partner. A significant portion of trade between the two countries is now conducted in rubles and yuan, reducing their dependency on the dollar. Illustrating a growing willingness to move away from the dollar in bilateral transactions, which could have broader implications for global trade. This shift signifies a potential crack in the dollar's dominance, at least within certain trading blocks, and could signal a new era in international finance. Putin's proposal has sparked diverse reactions within the BRICS bloc, highlighting the varying economic priorities and political strategies of its member nations. While Russia and China have emerged as vocal proponents of reducing reliance on the US dollar, advocating for a shift towards alternative currencies, other members, notably India and Brazil, have adopted more cautious stances, reflecting their unique economic landscapes and dependencies. India and Brazil, heavily reliant on the dollar for trade and investment, harbour concerns about the potential economic ramifications of a swift departure from the existing system, fearing market volatility. They fear that a sudden shift away from the dollar could disrupt their economies, leading to instability and uncertainty, which could have long-term consequences. Further complicating matters is the geopolitical tightrope that these countries must navigate, balancing their international relations carefully. 
wary of being perceived as aligning too closely with Russia, particularly given the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, they tread cautiously. India and Brazil prefer to maintain a more neutral position on the global stage, avoiding any drastic moves. The divergent perspectives within BRICS underscore the complexities inherent in creating a new global financial order, which requires careful negotiation. Any successful alternative to the dollar-dominated system would necessitate broad international consensus and cooperation involving multiple stakeholders, a goal that remains elusive for now as nations continue to weigh their options and strategic interests. Despite the growing chorus calling for a move away from the US dollar, replacing it as the world's reserve currency is a Herculean task. The dollar's deep liquidity, global acceptance and the well-established infrastructure supporting its use make it a formidable force to reckon with. The dollar's dominance is rooted in decades of being the currency of choice for international trade and finance. This entrenched position provides the US with unparalleled economic and geopolitical leverage. It allows the US to finance its deficits more easily and exert influence on global financial markets. Furthermore, any alternative to the dollar would need to address the concerns of investors and central banks worldwide. These stakeholders prioritize stability, transparency and the rule of law factors that have underpinned the dollar's dominance. While the dollar's preeminence may not last forever, any transition to a new global reserve currency is likely to be a gradual and evolutionary process marked by periods of uncertainty and adjustment. Existing payment systems have been the backbone of international transactions for decades. They offer reliability, security and efficiency. However, they also come with limitations that can hinder global trade and financial inclusion. By understanding these systems, we can leverage them as stepping stones towards more innovative and inclusive solutions. So, what could be a viable solution to overcome these limitations? The answer might lie in developing new technologies and frameworks that are more adaptable and scalable. Blockchain, digital currencies and decentralized finance are emerging as potential game changers. These technologies promise to make transactions faster, cheaper and more transparent, but they also come with their own set of challenges and risks. Sanctions are powerful tools used by nations to exert pressure and influence. However, they can also have unintended consequences on the global financial system. When countries are cut off from traditional payment networks, they often seek alternative methods to conduct transactions. This can lead to the rise of new financial ecosystems that operate outside the established order, potentially reshaping global economic dynamics. The global financial order is in a state of flux. As new technologies and geopolitical shifts challenge the status quo, we are witnessing a transformation in how money moves across borders. This reshaping of the financial landscape presents both opportunities and risks. It is crucial for policymakers, businesses and individuals to stay informed and adaptable to navigate this evolving terrain effectively. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers and revolutionaries.